Good evening and welcome to Cooking with Showtime. I am Mrs. Showtime here with the handsome and most damper Mr. Showtime himself. How you doing tonight, husband? Good, 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 good. So, what are we eating tonight? Today we have a puppet drum that has already been scaled and clean. Um, as you can see, it's already been scaled and clean. Um, wow. That my neighbor gave it to me. Fish. What we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is season it up, and I'm gonna cut a probably a proportion off right there and fry it up. And the rest, I'm gonna freeze it a little bit of it, may smoke it, but tonight I'm just focus on just this proportion right here, mm. right there. Because this is just a one serving, of course. One serving. Okay. Just enough for the missus. Yeah. So you can see. I love it. Always good to have a sharp knife. Go right down there. All right. So what is the first process? Okay. So let's go back. Boom. It was a whole fish. It was a whole fish. And, and, and before the vid. Yeah, uh, it was a whole puppet drum. In the beginning, you will see uh, the whole puppet drum being well. Uh, whole puppet drum being clean, as you can see, there all that meat, all that meat, there pearl meat. But you scare first of all. You got to scale the fish. You got to gut it, cut the head off. Some people like to keep the head on. As you can see, this is the big head of it. Ooh. Some people like to keep the head, and even in the head, there's still a lot of meat in the head there. So even with this head, I'm going to um, keep this, freeze this head, because you can make fish soup um, out of the head. But I'm going to take and split this head right down the middle, because when my mom come, I can split this head down the middle and fry it for her. And there's still a lot of meat in there. But tonight, I'm just focused on this part right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take and... Split it right down the middle here. Those are some and big bones. I'm gonna deep fry it. So I'm gonna split it right down the middle right here so it can eat fry evenly bit by bit. It's a big thick piece of meat. I want it to fry evenly. So I'm gonna split it right down the middle. While I get everything else out of the way, I'm gonna get my cutting board so I can split it right down the middle. Rest is hanging over the zinc. Get my cutting board, and I'm gonna cut my other little fin off. Take a pair of scissors, just go right on the top. Now, mind you, these are not just regular scissors. These are kitchen sh shears. Kitchen shears. And just cut that right off the top, right there. Wow. Then we're gonna split it right down the middle. That sounds pretty hard. Can that cut you? Yep, sure can. So let's so be see. Very careful. So you're not going directly down the middle of the bone. Yeah, we're going beside the bone, but beside I want to get it. Yeah. Oh yeah. See. Oh yeah. Base are almost like you for laying it, but. And that's the rear back, the backbone of the fish. Correct. Yep. And almost actually, almost took it almost filleted. Yeah. So yeah, I actually took did. the <laughs> backbone yeah. of it right on out. Yeah, you did. And there's still a lot of meat on it right there. Yeah. Oh, but wow. actually, that's just pure tea bone. Mm. That's pure tea bone. Wow, that is a thick bone fish. That's pure tea bone, see? Oh, yeah. And then with bone there. And there you have it. Oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful cut of meat. Still has a few little bones in that you got to watch out for, but. Glad you said that. What is the back? Not many. Like? Not many. But it's pretty nice chunk of meat. Oh, yeah. So now are you going to kind of cut this like a fish stick in No, I'm going to fry it just, just like this. Just like that. Oh, awesome. Okay. Just like I could cut it 
and half. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I'm gonna cut it in one more script right oh, down the middle. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. So it'll be two more pieces. Okay. Now, can we take the skin off as well, or no? You can, but. Uh, I'm not good at taking the skin off. Okay. You can, but it's a it's it's tedious. It's a tedious process. Yeah. So it's a tedious process. You have to go through there and a real good fillet a person would you know have how to have a good knife. Yeah, good knife. You had to go through there. I actually have a machine that's somewhere around here that could actually take the skin off. But it <laughs> yeah. actually would it would mush the meat up sometime. I, yeah. I was about to say that probably would make so, that, that nice plump meat. Let's mushy. see how. No, let's see. I want you to hurt yourself. If. Oh yeah. If I see. See, this is a, a tough piece of. Let's fish. see if I can try to fillet. Get get some of the skin off. Oh yeah. That looks like that's another piece of bone, isn't it? No, it's just some. Sometimes. It's, so where do you normally find these salt these? salt water? They be out Chesapeake Bay, James River, okay. and they have fresh water. Fresh water. Now, if you're in Carolina, where would you normally see these uh, type of fish? Any wherever there's water. Wherever there's water. Yep. So like the bracket water. Bracket water, fresh water. Yeah, I'm not gonna try because you just it's yeah. I, I, I don't want to tear it up. Yeah. All righty, so. Uh -huh. We'll see you all in a little bit when we drop it in the grease. Now, I know you're probably saying, like, I, I see a few scales. Trust. There is more to this process than you see now. Stay tuned. What are we doing now, Showtime? Just rinsing the fish off. That means we made sure that there was no, no excess scales or bones. Check this meat, clean this meat. He's ready to go. All right, so it's seasoned up. What seasoning did you use, Showtime? Smoking Joe's. Sweet Smoky Joe? Sweet Smoking Joe's. And now we get ready to use the battle that we're using is moss seafood bread. Seafood bread. Moss is seafood bread. Where can you find that? You can find it in Walmart. I get mine from Walmart. Where can we find the Smoky Joe's? Sweet Smoker Joe's. Where can we find the Sweet Smoky Joe's? Sweet Smoker Joe's dot com. Oh, okay. All right. Now, when you're frying fish like this, Showtime, what is a good? What's a good side item? To eat with this fried fish. I see mm -hmm. we got some French fries. You do fish fry, whatever your favorite item that you would like to do. Mmm, broccoli and cheese. Most time people use do French fries with. Okay. When they do fish. All right. Know, but it's all to your liking. Okay. Mac and cheese, maybe. Baked potato, maybe. A side salad, maybe. It's going in the grease. All right, so we're getting ready. All right, so it's seasoned. Now we're flouring it. Okay. Now, how hot? 350 degrees. 350 degrees. Awesome. Okay. Are we going to put both pieces in there at the same time? Or? Yep, both pieces going at the same time. Awesome, okay. Hmm, I think I got some cold fries as well. All right, guys, here you go. The finishing product. Showtime went and he conquered. He fried up the puppy, puppy drum. Puppy drum. He fried up this beautiful puppy drum. Threw me a few fries on the side. Let's eat. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We look forward to seeing you soon. If you have a particular dish. Okay. If you have a particular dish that you would like to try. Please let us know. We'll get it. And we'll make it. 
so that you can cook with Showtimes. Peace.